Sweet. Thanks for meeting with me, Doogie. Um, yeah. Can you tell me a little about yourself and what you do for the Rockies? Well, I am the head athletic trainer. I've been with the Rockies since they started, so I'm on my 31st year. I'm the medical director. Um, it's my first year in that role, too. My day-to-day -day operation is taking care of the players here at the major league level uh, through all their injuries and all their little uh, nicks and knacks throughout the season. You mentioned that you've been with the Rockies for a little bit, but before that, um, what was your path up to where you're at now and the level you're at? Yeah, I was a college baseball player. Um, went to San Diego State. A little bit overwhelmed with the quality of play. The players were much bigger, faster, stronger than me, but I was still good enough to hang around for a while. Just kind of opened my eyes to different avenues when I you know, was young in college of what direction I wanted to go to. And they had a good athletic training department. So I kind of transferred from a player over to athletic training. Got my first opportunity with the Padres and I worked with them for four years. And eventually about 10 of uh, the first group of employees that came over from the Padres with the Rockies. So we were part of the first group. So how did you get interested in athletic training? I think it really started because we had a class at Rocky that was really focused on like what you want to do um, post high school and into college and even after college um, and athletic training popped up and I was like that seems pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so I talked with my athletic trainer at Rocky. Um, she's amazing. And I just think it sparked just a interest in you know, sports and staying within sports and yep. not necessarily even just staying playing but just being around the game like you said it's important to me and I love being around baseball it's my favorite thing. That's great and that's what I suggest you do is find as many people in the profession in different areas you know like you mentioned the high school you mentioned the college a professional person the field of athletic training has grown, I think, especially through the COVID era. They used to just think you taped an ankle and stretched a guy. Yeah. We do way more than that. Yeah. If people actually knew everything we do, they're like, geez, they don't, yeah. you know, this is a tougher profession than they realize. Yeah, no, for you sure. Know? Yeah. I, I dealt with um, knee stuff my whole life and um, just doing like PT through that. Like, I was like, they're doing a lot. Like, and that's something that I will say that I sparked my interest to. I was like, that's kind of cool. Just kind of building something and building someone back up to their peak performance. And I think uh, it's cool to, you know, see that growth. Yeah, I think one of the cool things in professional sport, you just take a little gratification if you can help the person along the way, right? Like, I don't even care if it's a bump or a bruise and you help them get out their day earlier. You feel good about it. And that, that's the reward part I was talking about that really makes you feel good. Um, do you have a favorite part of your job um, that you just get to do every day? Or? You see where I get to sit? <laughs> I sit right on the best seat in the house, man. I'm on the bench watching, for me, the best athletes in the world. It's, it's, a, it's a dream for me, right? Because I love baseball. I'm very passionate about baseball. Grew up in a baseball family. And then what I get to do, I have some of the best offices in the world. I mean, I got Coors Field as my office. I have Salt River Fields in Arizona Spring Training. And our Dominican complex is unbelievable too. So I, I don't look at it as a job, really, you know? It is a job, don't get me wrong. And it's a grind, but you know, I look at something I'm excited about coming to every day. And that's why I think the guys that last in the game, like myself and kind of my counterparts and my peers, is, is that passion, they love it. It's, it's fun. All right, Trey, my last piece of advice for you is, you know, chase your dreams, right? Don't let people say no. I would set little um, short-term goals that you know you could obtain, but reach for the stars. And don't ever let anyone say no. And the way I can help you and you can help yourself is, you know, believe in yourself and ask a lot of questions and uh, don't be afraid. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, Dre, best of luck, buddy. Thank you. All right, take care.